What's going on YouTube? In today's video, we are going over one of the most unique weapon groups in all of Fallout 76. We have the alien weapons. Starting off over the weapons, there is a total of three alien weapons in Fallout 76. The first one on our list is the alien disintegrator. Now this rifle is a powerful rifle in Fallout 76 and we're using two separate alien disintegrators in this video. The first one on our list is for our commando build and the main legendary effect is the anti-armor effect which is ignores 50% of your target's armor, has a 25% faster fire rate, and it also has a 25% less fat action points cost. Over in the what we're using is the automatic receiver, no muzzle, and the default appearance. Now there is a total of four obtainable mods with this weapon. The first one on our list is the automatic receiver, which is why we're using a commando build with it. It says superior rate of fire, increased ammo capacity, and inferior range and damage. The next three mods are all for rifleman builds. The first one is the cryo receiver, which adds cryo damage and reduces ammo capacity. We have the high powered receiver, which is the one I recommend you using. It says greatly increased damage, reduced ammo capacity, and rate of fire. Then then we also have the poison receiver which adds poison damage and reduced ammo capacity. We also have the standard receiver but no one really cares about that. The next alien disintegrator that we're using in the video is the rifleman alien disintegrator and the main legendary effect is the anti-armor effect which is ignores 50% of your target's armor, has the vats critical hits do plus 50% to damage, and it also has a plus one to perception. Over in the mods what we're using is the high powered receiver because that is the best mod for the rifleman, no muzzle, and the default appearance. Now to get the plan to this weapon and the other two alien weapons you must complete these seasonal event invaders from beyond. Completing this event will give you a chance at the weapons and their mods to go along with them. Next weapon on our list, we have the Electro Enforcer, and the main legendary effect is the anti-armor effect, which is ignores 50% of your target's armor, has a 40% faster swing speed, and it also has a plus one to strength. And the mods that we're using with it is the Spiked Electro Enforcer mod and the standard appearance. Over in the mods, there is a total of four Electro Enforcer mods. The first mod on our list is the Freezing Electro Enforcer mod, which gives us a target freezes, causing reduced movement speed for three seconds and adds cryo damage. Next up, we have the Overcharged Electro Enforcer mod. This one gives us increased energy damage. We have the Poisoned Electro Enforcer mod, which adds poison damage. And my personal favorite, we have the Spiked Electro Enforcer mod, which gives us improved armor piercing. The next alien weapon on our list, we have the Alien Blaster. And the main legendary effect is the anti-armor effect, which is ignores 50% of your target's armor, has the Vats critical hits do plus 50% to damage, and it also has a plus 15 to faster reload. Over in the mods, what we're using is the Long Barrel, Sharp Shooter's Grip, cryo mag and the short scope over the mods there are a few mods that go along with this weapon starting off in the barrel we went from short barrel to long barrel which gives us a superior range sighted accuracy better recoil poor hip fire accuracy over in the grip we went from the standard grip to the sharpshooters grip which gives us a better recoil and hip fire accuracy over the mags there are three different mags you can use besides the standard mag we have the cryo mag which adds cryo damage and reduces ammo capacity we have the fusion mag which reduces damage and ammo capacity but it changes ammo type to fusion cells. We have the poison mag, which adds poison damage, reduced ammo capacity. And of course, the, 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 the standard mag, um, uh, uses standard alien blaster rounds. Over in the scope, we went from the standard sights to the short scope, which gives us improved magnification and superior sighted accuracy. The cool thing about the alien blaster is you actually don't have to wait to the event to get it. If you travel northwest of the butterfly on the map in the toxic valley region, you'll find yourself a destroyed wreckage with a toxic pond. Here in the pond, you'll find yourself a safe in the water with an alien blaster just sitting in it. But this is it. These are all the alien weapons in Fault 76 and how to get them. Now let's get to some demonstrations. Starting off our demonstrations with our rifleman alien disintegrator and here's my in-game rifleman build to go along with it but the first target on our list is this super mutant warlord right here look at that 1265 to finish him off all right what about this guy out here okay we just don't want to get close to that explosion let me just blast this guy real quick fantastic we're gonna blast you 1231 again and that is an insane amount of damage all right we're one-shotting everything that is fantastic that feels amazing 1264 give me another one uh oh we got ourselves a nasher excuse you nasher we're gonna need you to die you stupid floater okay Okay, there we go, 633. Now the cool thing about the alien disintegrator is it does not need a suppressor to be a sneak weapon, which is absolutely amazing for sneak builds. That is where we get the most amount of damage. Like, oh, we got ourselves a legendary. Let me just blast him in the face again. Look at that, 1375 directly to the super mutant's face. What about you, sir? Would you like to feel the wrath of the alien disintegrator? And you cannot withstand the wrath of the alien disintegrator. Okay, we got one more guy. Let me just shoot him in the face real quick. There we go, 526 and 1100 to finish off the super mutant. 
mutants. The next target on our list is Z1, the only, the level 100 glowing behemoth that goes by the name of Billy Bob. We're just gonna sit back here, you know, give him a couple shots. We got it in the thousands. 717 right there, and 717 to finish off Billy Bob. Now we swapped over to the automatic alien disintegrator, and here's my in game commando build to go along with it. But the first target on our list is another super mutant warlord. Let me just blast him in the face. Oh my god, there we go. Now we are at Huntersville, and this place is filled with super mutants. Let me just go over here. Look at them over there. They're just creeping around the body. Oh, that poor, poor guy. Oh, I'll save you, sir. Let me just kill these super mutants. There we go. Absolutely amazing. Now, I do prefer the automatic version. I'm not going to lie. This gun is absolutely insane. But if you want a really, really good rifleman build, this gun is also fantastic. Here we go. Outside of that. There we go. Oh, absolutely amazing, sir. You've blown into pieces. Sir, I know this is the hardware store. I need some tools. Please and thank you. Excuse Excuse me, excuse me. Oh, uh, uh, no. You guys are out of wrenches. You fool. Let me just destroy them. Oh my god. Okay, let me get back in the sneak real quick. Okay, we don't want them to find me and kill me. Uh oh, uh oh. I think they're finding me and they're trying to kill me. Let me just there we go. Shoot him in the face. Oh my god. Unleash the beast. Unleash the beast. Who is our next super mutant warlord? Oh god, there he is. Oh my goodness. I can always send the power of the alien disintegrator. The next creature on our list for the demonstrations is one of the most foul creatures in all of Fall 76. We have the level 100 Myler Queen that goes by the name Mrs. Krabs. There we go. As you can see, we're just draining her health and poor Mrs. Krabs is no more. Now we swapped over to the alien blaster and here's my in-game gunslinger build to go along with the video but the first chugger on the list is the level 100 death claw that goes by the name Lizzie. Now to get the most amount of damage to these death claws your best bet is to lock onto their belly that is your weak spot and then just start blasting and oh my god you see how fast this thing shoots? Sorry about that Lizzie. let me just uh, continue to shoot you into pieces. The next target on our list for the demonstrations is one of my favorite monsters in all of Fallout 76 we have the level 75 Scorch Beast and that goes by the name Charlie. She's actually my personal Scorch Beast and she broke free somehow so I gotta get her back home. Oh Charlie. Oh my god. And before she even landed, she died. I think she died on impact from that landing. Holy crap. Now we've made our way back to Betty the level 100 glowing behemoth but this time with our Electro Enforcer and here's our in-game two-handed melee build to go along with it. But as you can see Betty is trying to fly away real quick. Get over here Betty. You ain't get away from me. I'm just smack you in the face. Oh my god. God, okay, I think I deserve that. Okay, and we're just gonna scoot back real quick and we're gonna hit her in the legs. There we go. Betty, get the heck away from me. There we go. Not bad. Let me just get you in the face because that's where we're gonna get the most amount of damage to this behemoth, especially with this weapon. All right, face shot. Oh my God. God. Oh, super means I've made it back, but this time with my melee build, we're gonna start by hitting this guy real quick. There we go. Just a one shot. Holy crap. Hello, sir. Is it gonna take a one shot to knock you down? Let me get up here real quick. One shot. One shot's all it takes. You know the rules. Let me come over here. We got ourselves a suicide. Let's just one shot. Okay, that's a two shot. That's not the rules. Come on, one shot. You know the rules. Let me go over here. Hello, sir. Is it going to take one shot? One. Oh my gosh. Now it's two shots. Still getting a ton of damage out of it, by the way. Oh my god. Now this is a sneaked and defensive build. So whether you're sneaked or you're fighting, you are going to be doing absolutely amazing. Smash through that guy. There we go. Now I don't know if they can hear the sound of this. Let me just swing a couple times as I'm coming through. Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? Oh, super mutant? Nope, they cannot hear me whatsoever. Okay, here we go. Smack! All right, there you go. You stood no chance, you freak. Let me just go over here. We're coming in super hot. Watch out, super mutant. We're coming in hot, hot, hot. Okay, there we go. Two shots. All right, I think we got one more mutant left. Where's he at? No, nope, no. Nope. Is it just that machine? Oh my god, you stupid communist machine. One shot. You know the rules. If you enjoy fall content like this and you want to see more, I also made a video for some of the most powerful weapons in all of Fall 76, the Gauss weapon. So if you want to check it out, I'll link it in the screen right now. You see that? That is my Gauss weapons video. Thank <laughs> you.